Celebrating New Year It was said that long, long ago there was a big monster named Nian, Chinese for year. He was covered with green scales. On his forehead he had a large shaped horn. Nian's teeth were like saws and his whiskers were like iron blades. His bulging eyes glowed fiercely. From his mouth he blasted powerful flames. Nian was so terrifying. He lived down in the deep, deep ocean and loved to sleep. Every time he slept, it was for 365 days. When he woke up on the night of the 365th day, he would swim to the shore in search of food. When he was hungry, his stomach would make funny noises and he would eat anything he saw. People were so scared of him that they trembled even at the mention of his name. So when he did appear, they went running from here to there, screaming, Nian is here, Nian is here, run for your lives. From that moment on, everyone would carry bags and bags of food with them to hide in the mountains. One year, everyone in the village escaped to the mountain hideout. Only one old woman didn't go because of her husband. The old man was very ill and had to stay in bed. If she left, who would feed him and give him his medicine? Out of nowhere, a skinny old beggar appeared at their door. He hadn't been able to find any food anywhere in the village. Wobbling as he leaned on his bamboo cane, he begged pitifully for some food from the old woman. The old woman was cooking dumplings at the time, so she quickly made a pot full and gave them to the beggar. It seems as if the old beggar didn't have any teeth because he just swallowed the whole thing at once. He wiped his mouth and asked the old woman, how come everyone in the village has disappeared? Tearfully, the old woman explained the history of Nian, the monster. The old beggar told the old woman not to be afraid. Don't worry, since you have a kind heart, God will protect you. He won't let you be eaten by the monster. I have a way of getting rid of the monster. Just go and find me a piece of red cloth and two pieces of red paper. Oh, and keep on preparing the filling for the dumplings. Don't stop. The old woman thought it strange, but she followed the old beggar's instructions. Rum, rum. Huge waves started forming in the ocean, announcing Nian's approach. The old beggar glued the red papers on the door frame, wrapped the red cloth around his body, and started a fire to burn his bamboo cane. Once the bamboo cane caught on fire, it started to crackle. From the kitchen, out came chop, chop, chop sound from the prepping the dumplings. Pop, 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 boom, 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 chop, 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 boom, pop, 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 boom, 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 chop, 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 chop. Nian had never heard such strange noises. He was very disturbed by them. By the door, he shook his head and bumped into the circle of red flames. The hot red color irritated his bulging eyes, causing him to scream with pain. He turned his tail around and hastily retreated into the sea. Nian never again returned to eat humans. It turns out that Nian wasn't afraid of anything, that is, except for noises and the color red. Seeing that Nian had been driven away, the old woman cheered and clapped for joy. The old beggar turned around and disappeared. It was then that the old woman realized that the old beggar was actually an immortal. The next morning, all the villagers came home. They couldn't believe that the old woman and her husband were still alive. The old woman told them the story of the immortal having descended to earth to chase away the monster. Everyone was amazed and jubilant. From then on, when, when the day approached that Nian was supposed to wake up, people would put on red clothes and glue red paper on their doors. Also, they would prepare dumplings to eat and play with bamboo firecrackers. Since then, they had never had to fear Nian's arrival anymore. When they saw each other the next day, they would say with delight, After Nian, after Nian, congratulations, congratulations. This is how the celebration of the new year evolved. For good luck during the new year, Chinese people glue red paper strips on their door frames. The Chinese built their country by farming. Even though they worked hard all year long, they still had fulfilling lives. The enjoyable ethnic celebrations that took place throughout the year were their most significant source of entertainment for their busy lives. Among these events, the celebration of the new year is fun, exciting, and the most important. The tradition of lighting firecrackers has existed for a long time. The earliest type of firecrackers was created by throwing bamboo sections into a pot of fire to produce an explosion. It was believed that the explosion could drive away evil spirits and ghosts. Later, it became associated with all, with all festivities. Red decorations for the door frame and red clothes are used because of the belief that ghosts and goblins are afraid of the color red. The story of the Nian monster contributes to this belief. Colorful, festive, traditional events, plus these delightful and dramatic stories, make rural lifestyles more interesting and enjoyable. We hope that children, after learning more about ethnic culture, will have a greater understanding of Chinese cultures. Kung Hee Fa Choi. Happy New Year, everyone.